saw you flirting with her all night. God, I can't be nice to people now. I, I wasn't even there. I just, I just want to go back to the way things used to be. Well, that was then. It's then. It's now. special guest today, we have on the show Dr. John Rios, a world-renowned psychologist and book author. Welcome to the show. You know, the science is really clear on this. What you focus on dramatically impacts your mood state and your physiology. So say you're focusing on everything your spouse isn't doing. Well, it's going to be really difficult, really difficult to be grateful for what they are doing. Or say you're focused on how the relationship used to be going to be really difficult to enjoy the current relationship because you're living in the past and when you live in the past you're not living in the present relationships are like a tree if you water a tree it's going to grow it's going to thrive if you fail to water it it's going to wilt right so uh you shouldn't then blame the tree if it wilts you need to look in the mirror and own your part thanks for having me on the show from the past. Thank you. 
Okay. How about now? Do we have anything? Nothing. Are you even sure that's the right path, man? Because it's been like 10 hours and my brain's fried. I think so. Ah. Ah, okay. We're so close. We're so close, I can feel it. Okay, so here is what we know. We don't know anything. I'm not trying to be a buzzkill, but we haven't even run simulations yet. Okay, I think we need to gather what we know and... When have I ever led you astray? Today or this week? Because I got a couple lists. Come on. Seriously, you know what I mean. And besides, I didn't hear you complaining when I introduced you to my sister. You're still bringing that up. My house, my party, you brought an uninvited guest, and then you wouldn't let me ask her out for a year. So I think we've passed the statute of limitations on when you can lord that over me. You stop caving, I'll stop using it. All right, fine. You want credit? How's this? Your sister's the best thing that's ever happened to me. If I could go back and change anything, I wouldn't. Is that what you want to hear? Yeah. Yeah, there's some stuff that you just can't change. Based on where we are now, do you feel like we are ready for test trials? No! We haven't even figured out our infrastructure yet. You want to do test trials? Do you have a death wish? All right. Okay. Let's just call it. Oh, praise God. Simulations? The simulations. Excuse me! Get dressed. When I'm ready! Did you notice on this page? This. Right, but then here, look, look, no, 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 here, here. This is clearly, right? Just, right? Shoe. Joe, it looks. It looks pretty good. It's, it worries me. Come on. Why are you so dead set against test trials with this level of proof? What will it take for you to support me on this? We both want the same thing, but we have no idea what any of this means. Oh, come on. Well, what did Einstein say? A happy man is too preoccupied with the present to worry much about the future. Scientific discovery is risk. You cannot have one without the you're other. You're calculated risk, Joe. That's not what any of this is. There's something you're not telling me. All right. It feels like the year just started. And already Christmas is right around the corner. Every year, it happens faster and faster relentlessly. Life is passing too fast, and I haven't published a serious paper ever. Pretty soon, I'm going to be dead. Nobody's going to know who I was. And what will I have contributed to science? Nothing. All I have to show for my life is a mountain of student debt, a cat that hates me, and a 95 Toyota Corolla. Do 
talk about Christmas, it makes me think of my dad. He was never there for me. Anytime things got risky, he would always be the first to bail. Always had time to tell me what I couldn't do. Never. And now I do the same thing. I'm not a gambler, Joe. But who am I to tell you what you can't do? When do we start? Okay, can you assure me that this is 100% ready? I need you to check your pride at the door. Please look me in the eye and tell me that this thing is ready. You know, maybe we should just do some more simulations. For Come safety's sake. It, it is ready, okay? It's gonna work. This is a test of the localized singularity mark 1.0. Initiating fourth dimensional tests on my mark. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. I'm okay. Joe, uh, I want to get you to a doctor, okay? Let's, let's get you looked over. No. I just need to go home and rest. Huh. I don't know. That's such a good idea, brother. Come on. That was a heck of a first test. Other uh, than the fact that it didn't work at all. Oh. You didn't expect to get it right on the first try, did you? You know, and excuse me for being concerned for my idiot brother-in-law. Oh. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> I hate you. You 
look great. You look good too, eh? So how's Ray doing? Ray is, um, you know, Ray, she's super focused on her career. Have you had time to look over my progress? I think what I've got is very promising. Some of it looks great, but I still think you're a, a long way from home. What do you mean? I, I know you've always been a voice of reason, but I think you have to admit this, this is a breakthrough. Yeah, but you've got to stand back and look at this objectively. Now, what does Ray think about all this? Ray, um, thinks what Ray thinks. Um, do you want a coffee? You haven't told her, have you? Here's the thing. I think you're in way over your head. Over my... Abe, do you remember when you reviewed my paper on computational complexities? You said it wasn't quite ready yet. I missed my window to nail down that grant because I waited on you. That was different. How? My main concern is your welfare. Some of these readings lead me to believe that this could be detrimental to your health and specifically to your cognitive function. My brain is fine. Oh, you've started the machine already. Great. You always do this. You move ahead without thinking of the consequences to people around you. All right, let me ask you this. Have you had any issues with focus or forgetting? No. No, okay, you're being overly cautious. You're not being cautious enough. You know, while there's still time, we can stop the machine. We can run a battery of tests on it. No, no, Be no. Safe. Abe, I need to make this work. But you can't step into the same river twice. What is, is. Abe, the science is sound. You're moving from physics into metaphysics, Horace. This is spark of the divine stuff. And the last time I checked, you're not God Almighty. Now, I'm all for scientific discovery, but some things you just have to respect. Just because you can, it doesn't mean you should. You heard from your brother today? No. Why? Job Sullivan? Yep, I'm ready for you. Paging Dr. Stevens. You have a call on line two. Dr. Stevens, call on line two. He just he had a dizzy spell yesterday and I told him to see a doctor, but you know how stubborn he is.
Why does he need to go see a doctor? You get dizzy, you should see a doctor. He's a healthy guy. We were, we were running this test and what test? Really, it was a, a prototype for this thing we're working on. You know, you guys always do this. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Well, I. Babe, I can help. Why don't you just include me? Look, this is Job's thing. Okay, he just wanted me to run the programming for it. He's not exactly married to the scientific process like you are. Good morning. How may I help you? Could you please hold? Hey, could you uh, grab me the Sullivan test results for me? Can you sign this? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, this can't be. Did you ask me to run the test again just to be sure? Okay, so what happened? Nothing happened. We just... We ran a live test, and he got closer to it than I thought he should have, and he got dizzy. What? Nurse let us in, but I want to fix this. It's not your fault. I'm the one who made the choice to push us forward. Exposed to radiation of any kind. <laughs> Obviously, I said no. Why wouldn't you tell them? Why would you lie about that? It doesn't matter now. They can't help me. What is going on inside you? Uh, something happened. Something happened during the test that we didn't anticipate. Whatever it was, it's altered my DNA. <laughs> I couldn't explain. Now it happened, only that it did, and now, now my body is producing tissue. What sort of tissue? Well, I have two livers now, and an extra kidney, and it's all rerouting the blood supply in my body. 
My heart can't keep up. Why don't, why don't they just remove him? It's not that simple. It's just gonna grow back. And the doctors are saying it is happening at an accelerated rate. I shouldn't have stood so close to the machine while I was running. You were right. And I should have listened to you. But I need you to listen to me now. I need you to do something for me. I'm not going to make it to the end of the week. Promise me. Abandon this. I can't do that. You, you know I can't do that. You abandon this. It's too dangerous. You saw something, didn't you? Job, I, I have my reservations on paper, but I now that I've seen it work, it didn't I can't work. It didn't work. And now the people that I love, the people that I care about, are paying the price for my recklessness and my arrogance. Don't you want this to mean something? I don't have the energy for this. For you to argue with me, like always. Can't you just give me this one thing? Ray. Ray is what is important now. You need to take care of Ray. talking about? It's the only family I have left. <laughs> All you had to do was tell him no, but then you just let him. Have you ever met your brother? you do this to me? I can fix this.
talking I about? I saw you flirting with her all night. God, I can't be nice to people it's now. It's like I wasn't even there. I just, I just want to go back to the way things used to be. Well, that was then. It's this. Now. Oh, if only it were that simple. you do? Have you seen my ring? It was on the dresser.
I'm looking for a small, uh, you okay? Yeah. Notebook, it's brown, I think I had it in my pants. I think I put it in the laundry. Nothing but towels and underwear. Are these yours? The trousers, the missing the button. Right, right pants, where could they be? Thank you. I'm making headway on the project. The implications are quite promising. I've successfully accounted for solar cosmological drift when choosing an exact location in time. Something is still off. The machine mistakenly brought a younger version of me forward. And during the test, there is an observable feedback loop occurring momentarily. Since the trial was only about 10 seconds in length, the causation consequences are yet unknown. Oh, and the heat sink still needs work.
Alrighty, this is a shop. Eight. Yes, yes. No, good. Thank you. Um, you can. When? Where? I'll be there in twenty minutes. You look great. You look good too, Abe. So how's Ray doing? Ray is, um... Some of these readings lead me to believe that this could be detrimental to your health, and specifically to your cognitive function. My brain is fine. Just because you can, it doesn't mean you should. Thank you. 
Pretty good day yesterday, Ray? It was a normal day. Why? You didn't per chance go into my lab, did you? You made it abundantly clear that you don't Reason want to be here. I'm asking is because I found this in your sock drawer. Not a heat sink. In my sock drawer. It's weird. Yeah, that's one word for it. I set it down on my workbench, and then I came back and it was gone. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to insinuate anything. Okay. Forget it. Listen to me. Horace? We only have 20 minutes. Is this the garage? <laughs> your dad's garage, it is. It's okay. Why are we here? It's complicated. Ray, why are, Ray, listen why are we here? I'll, I'll explain everything. I'll explain everything, okay? Hey, let me, let me get you a seat. Here, sit with me. It's okay. I'll explain everything. What's the last thing you remember? I was putting on my makeup. And it looks so good. Come on, it's okay, baby. Where were you, do you remember? It's in our bedroom. Do we still have that orange quilt on the bed? No. I hate that quilt. My grandmother made that quilt. Horace, why am I here? 20 minutes? What do you mean 20 minutes? Ray, listen to me, okay? I built this for you. This whole construct is a way to bring you here so that we can be together. Ray, the question isn't what is this about? The question is where and when. See. When you're in a dream, you don't question whether or not this is real. You just go along with the story, no matter how strange or foreign the concepts. Think, how is our consciousness even aware of what's real and what's a dream? What if what we thought was a dream was truly real? And what we perceived to be reality was actually 
a dream world. How can you know? I want you to think of this like a dream or a mini vacation. In the garage. You know, I was never that good at planning romantic stuff. <laughs> Forget it. Uh, you remember, um, 
Do you remember Amy? Who? I'm Amy. Sure. Amy, you remember? She Damn. she was your 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 roommate. She had what was it? Red hair? Amy. You mean Stacy. Lewis. <laughs> she didn't have red hair. <laughs> it was brown. That was her name. Mm-hmm. I got her mixed up with somebody else. Oh, you remember that time she brought the, the creepy guy to dinner? How do you forget that? You have weird friends. At least I had friends. Mm, why are you mean to me? You want to dance? So we need Dan. was right. I'm changing somehow. I feel like I'm being reset to factory settings. I haven't been sleeping enough or much at all. It's starting to affect my ability to think clearly. Experiencing memory loss. I, I almost feel like reality is slipping away. I mean, we're talking about, about the wave structure of matter. Atoms just being built and destroyed brick by brick across the cosmos. It's all just dust intermingling and colliding a hundred billion times a second. And the danger in all this is, is what if, what if we're not fully grasping what this is? Can, can reality truly be understood or is this just us at odds with ourselves? The very nature of time and space. <sighs> what if we don't seek out that ultimate truth? What if we don't take the leap of faith, see what that true reality is and, and interact with it? I feel drunk. I know what I have to do. I'm not really sure how. <laughs>